Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, uh, we're back again with a null, another alliance war against RDN Rajon alliance. Now again, uh, we are quite a significantly larger alliance, so uh, the new matchmaking, uh, well, it is what it is and it's going to be quite messy for a while. Uh, but uh, that being said, we can jump on path 8 now, which is where I have been sent once again. I'm going to be doing path 8 in tier 1, path 7 in tier 2. And first fight I have to go up against is uh, this Havoc. So I have brought in Warlock, Nick Fury and Dr. Doom. And uh, yeah, so here with Warlock, uh, well, it's a Havoc. So Warlock is pretty much a perfect counter for that Havoc. There's nothing too tricky in this fight. I just want to parry a whole bunch, maybe drop a heavy attack, do some other stuff, and uh, not having to worry about those detonations, obviously, is extremely pleasant. Now, there is that buff imbalance node, I think, uh, or debuff imbalance, I don't know. But the point is, he has quite significant passive fury active there, so I do need to be careful. If I'm going to get tagged, it's going to hurt a lot. But here we can see that everything's going uh, quite well, and not much to complain about. And uh, yeah, just need to finish out the last like 15% of this fight. Uh, just dropping a couple of heavy attacks whilst I can, because that ensures that uh, Havoc has a debuff on him. He tries to heal with willpower and I try to power drain him. Next fight is going to be this uh, Void at end of section 1 on the right side. And he has that buff imbalance, power drain, matador and cold turkey. And for these voids, uh, I have a very simple tactic just bring in nick fury and nuke them uh to note obviously i'm not running suicide masteries and i'm running uh like a medium set of boosts i think there's 10 percent attack boost and 20 percent uh champion boost but yeah here we can see that uh void is going down really quickly not much worry to worry about there at all i'm also trying not to trigger any dexterity at all whatsoever to make this fight smooth as possible and ignore the stubborn node but yeah this was a very very quick fight for nick fury to finish out and that was it for my contribution in section one and for my part in the war kind of like for the first day now that uh, section two has been opened up i'm moving on to path seven this one has a uh, power powerful from afar and spite so that she is going to be getting like a lot of power gain and uh, i brought in dr doom for this fight uh, just because obviously he can nullify the power gains gain a power gain of his own and doesn't inherently have any boss ants outside of when he throws level three and uh, I'm just going to be stingy here and it is in fact going to come back later on to bite me in the bum uh, but uh, we first and foremost need to get there so this fight is going to be like super simple start off with a regular combo drop a heavy attack uh, she triggers powerful from afar power gain and nullify it uh, twice and uh, with that uh, I am already at level 3 extremely quick and painless and simple road to first level 3 here and we're going to be dropping it and we're going to see how much damage that does exactly but uh, starting from this point forward I will have that fury buff active so she's going to be getting that spite power gain so I need to kind of like be wary of that as well However, here immediately, basically, we get to a level 3 once again. I'm going to drop a level 3 this time already with one Fury active. And it should deal significantly larger amount of damage, even though I'm not, like, boosted or suicided or anything like that. She's at 1%, so one hit, um, nice medium crit for 10k, and the fight is over. And uh, next up, we are against Longshot, and uh, this fight should have been simple. Shoulda, woulda, coulda though. And uh, ultimately, obviously, uh, I will die in this fight. But uh, the reason for it is because I'm going to eat a level 3. <laughs> I'm going to misplay. And I'm just going to eat a full on level 3. And obviously, after level 3, I get stunned. And with that stun, then he lands up an entire combo on me again. And uh, yeah, so I pretty much lose vast majority of my health. And uh, given that this is Aspect of Evolution, he hits a really hard through block very quickly in the fight. Now, uh, had I had any other boosts active, whether it would be 10% attack boost or even a bigger champion boost, I would have won this fight. <laughs> like, yeah, here is the point where you can see that he goes for his level 3. I'm at like 98% and uh, that is going to deal a huge amount of damage. And this level 3 also makes you feel like an idiot because it's like a very goofy kind of level three so i'm at 37 percent 
and he finishes his combo. Obviously, Doom is a tank, so he kind of survives it at 7%. So now I'm going for my level 3. And I, well, I have a real uphill battle, but uh, theoretically, obviously, I could have won this fight still. And uh, the reason why I will not, however, is definitely the aspect of evolution and the huge increased block damage, because, uh, or just simply my mistakes, which could also be fair enough. But yeah, the best and the biggest point is that I definitely would have won this fight if I had any better boosts active, or obviously if I hadn't eaten that level 3, that goes without saying. So here I'm going to drop my level 2, why not? At this point the fight's still perfectly kind of like fine, and uh, I think I make a bad decision here. I wanted to block bait a heavy attack to drop my level 1 into a level 2, but because of Aspect of Evolution, it just absolutely chewed up my health and I died from blocking. And that is definitely kind of like my mistake and I should feel bad about it. And I do. <laughs> it was a quite silly death. But uh, on the flip side, obviously, the reason why I didn't boost uh, heavily for this war is because we were ahead on the uh, score. So there was no real need to kind of like waste boosts and uh, quite typically these deathless wars and deathless seasons uh, often come down not only to playing perfectly or getting lucky but uh, also having like the big boy boosts act too. So uh, it's still my fault though so no other excuses there and uh, now we're going to be up against uh, Iron Man. At this point, I actually don't have any boost active at all whatsoever, but it is by design because this is a, a rage node for Iron Man Infinity War. So I don't want to be hitting hard. <laughs> I want to be hitting actually as weak as possible. And the kind of game plan for this fight is I want to parry as much as I can and maybe drop my level twos to kind of power drain him. And because my warlock is awakened and because he's sig 200, he can deal a decent amount of damage uh, with his uh, degeneration whilst I'm draining opponent's power. So I want to play this uh, fight relatively slow, relatively careful, like dropping in my heavy attack here whilst he has no armor buffs, which is kind of like perfect. And as you can see, he gets power drained here. I drop my level two and none of those hits actually do trigger rage. Now the first medium does afterwards. So I finish the combo with uh, all light attack hits. Uh, so I do not want obviously uh, Iron Man to get too many rage stacks. I'm not gonna say that Warlock is obviously the perfect counter because ideally you want to be able to deal with those fury buffs. But uh, if you can kind of like manage your damage just below that rage, uh, then uh, Warlock works fantastic for this Iron Man Infinity War here because you consistently keep a check on Iron Man's power. Uh, you take advantage of reparries a lot and kind of like control the fight slowly but surely. And even though you might not be landing too many hits or you don't have to land too many hits, you can see that slowly but surely that Iron Man is going down. And uh, with five minute timers, I'm far less worried about uh, prospect of timing out as well. So that's super helpful. We can see that still we have three minutes and 10 seconds in a fight. He's already at 16% health, but he has three fury buffs. I always kind of like counted and stopped my combos early. Now I got lucky that uh, he didn't parry me there. I think it's because of infection or assassin's mastery. I'm not too sure, but it definitely was super helpful that uh, I didn't get parry stand there because that was in fact a mistake, but my health is looking relatively good. So I wasn't overly worried. And uh, yeah, so for this last kind of like leg of the fight, I just want to uh, degenerate him as much as possible. So I don't want to attack him like at all. I don't want to risk him getting to five furies and then having those armor buffs active and then kind of like being a very, very undesirable situation. So I played very, very carefully and very slowly, keeping an eye on those furies and uh, finished off with a heavy attack because I saw that he had no armor buffs and if I don't trigger armor buff with my heavy attack then bleed would finish it out. So this fight I was quite happy with. I quite liked quite uh, well how I fought here. Then I asked my alliance if there's anything else they want me to do and uh, I said I can down this take down this human torch mini boss. And uh, yeah, this wasn't, this isn't going to be too kind of like sophisticated fight. I know that my Nick Fury is pretty much full health. I know that I have class advantage. I know that uh, bleeding Human Torch incinerates you for a far shorter amount of time. 
And the whole goal here is just to go ahead and absolutely play this lad aggro because uh power focus one nodes let him get to his level one extremely quickly but then after that he gains power super slowly so i'm never gonna attempt to bait out a special attack only thing that i'm gonna be trying to do is just hit him as much as i can and yeah we can see that that uh, plan is working out well he's already halfway down within the first minute now i do make a mistake here and i eat a full combo but again uh, those instant reds do not stick on me because uh quite obviously um he was bleeding so the instant red duration shortened i'm uh, blocking all of the level one thing on purpose just not to i'm actually i actually don't know if he even is a stubborn character or not but I just figured I'll just tank this fight through and be as aggressive as I can. Anyways, that is it for today's video. The war is still kind of like uh, carrying on, but uh, it's extremely unlikely that we will not win this one. So I decided to upload it just now. So yeah, uh, it looks like we're going to get away with that win. And a uh, huge shout out to RDN, obviously, for being uh, good opponents and good sport. And uh, that is it. And I'll catch you guys soon. See ya.